Hey, what is up, everyone? It is Dimension here, back at it with some more Samurai Champloo. We're on episode 12. Man, last episode was crazy. Gene really had an amazing, some some amazing development last episode, and dude, the show is just, this show is amazing. So let's get straight into this one. Gene, man, bro, I love you so much, bro. I love him so much. <laughs> I mean, if you stop and think about it, we really don't know jack shit about this sunflower dude, do we? That's true. That is true, yeah. They don't know anything about him. They just know the description about him. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things Mugen has ever said. What the fuck is a sunflower? How does he not know? That's true. That's their most reliable um, lead, yeah. That's <laughs> exactly. Fucking Mugen, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> he can't read. Oh dang, her mom died. Only I never had the courage. Are we finally gonna get the backstory on what happened? <laughs> Mugen and Jean. <laughs> is a crude and vulgar guy with wild hair. You talking about me? The second I saw him, I thought he was a bad guy. The kind who commits all sorts of crimes. The type of person I'd never want to I love how she's describing her first ex first encounters with them. Of course, once I talked to him, I realized I was absolutely right. Shut up, you little bitch. Shut up. <laughs> Chances with the governor's son. Why, you little in the middle of all this, another man appeared, one with long hair and glasses. You talking about you now? I actually thought he was kind of attractive, not like the first one. <laughs> she thought Jade was attractive. Once the new guy got into it, he refused to stop fighting too. They don't seem at all. Oh, I love these two when they fought, man. They were so badass. Oh wow, so she describes every episode. That's interesting. And so all of a sudden I'm this guy's hostage. Jeez. Well, I was a little drunk at the time, so I don't remember too much. The end. That's it. The end. <laughs> I had another rotten day today because of those two. It all started when they ditched me and ran away. <laughs> I loved when they dipped and they just left her. <laughs> I'd of vases if I were you. Don't you think my life is a little too eventful? You know, I have to wonder sometimes. Her life is eventful. I will have to agree with that. I have two bodyguards. Those bozos are pretty useless for the most part. I'm really starting to think that I'm Yeah, super useless. <laughs> ah, here's the artist, dude, yeah. <laughs> I made my he did say nice things to me, which is more than I can say for those two jerks. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love this recap. I love it. I love seeing her perspective on it. But I wonder whatever happened to him. I wonder if he's on that ship right now. Or who knows? Maybe he's even arrived there already. He, meaning Moronobu Hishikawa, was caught even before he had a chance to leave port and never made it to Holland. Ah, uh, yeah. P.S. The fried squid he treated us to was totally delicious. 
She's just chomping away. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> is, she an <laughs> is she an animal? Yeah, Fu is crazy when she eats, bro. She can really grub. Wait a minute. Isn't there anything about that sunflower samurai in there? All that she's writing about so far. True, yeah, she's not writing about the sunflower samurai or anything. <laughs> she dragged them there because of her rumor. That's crazy. <laughs> Is there anyone in the whole world who's been taken hostage as much as me? Oh man, rest in peace. I dreamed about mom last night. Is yeah. So it was a dream, okay. It's hard for me to find the right words to write about Shinsuke. I just couldn't bring myself to say anything to his mother either. Yeah, rip Shinsuke, man. But once some time, I definitely want to sit down and write her a long letter. Predicting the future is something of a tricky business. A case in point. What the hell were they thinking with those dumbass hairstyles? <laughs> Yo, they got some wild hairstyles. We left Edo, and thanks to the money we got when we pawned Jean's glasses. Kiss poor glasses, man. Hey, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm jealous or anything. It's just that it makes things a lot more difficult. Yeah, she's definitely not jealous. <laughs> well, I guess she was kind of sexy. She did have a nice set of hooters. Is that the kind of women they go She for? did. Ah, uh, who cares? I got hit on today, too. Uh, I'm starting to get the feeling that I only attract weirdos. <laughs> What's a girl to do? Feels like I'm losing sight of what I'm really after. We're supposed to be looking for the samurai who smells of sunflowers, but we always end up spending all our time scrounging up enough money to survive. So to put this in perspective, one could say that they've merely returned to the values of the Edo period. And if you take the time to delve into world history, then you'll discover that Japan's Edo period can be placed right alongside the civilization of ancient Greece, and that it was an era in which gay love flourished. And Interesting. Homosexuality was considered a more noble pursuit than heterosexuality. My name is Monzo the Saw. I'm an officer with a secret police. This dude's narrating? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, it is him. Peace. Of course, the worst part of it all is that jerk Mugen. I believed in him, thinking he'd come back for us. What kind of rescuer ends up needing to be rescued? Anyway, I love that episode. <laughs> yeah, well, that suits me just fine. Go ahead and don't trust me. See if I care. Now that I think about it, I guess that was the first time I'd ever spent any time alone with him. Huh? I thought that is true, yeah, that was the only time they really ever, like, were together alone. I tried to break the ice, but all I could get out of him was a hmm, or an awe. What's his problem? Hmm, or awe. <laughs> That's definitely Gene's, uh, replies. I could definitely see him saying that. <laughs> the end. Hey, Gene, man to man, what do you really think of her anyway? <sighs> this guy's hopeless. He just keeps on reading. <laughs> the 1950s, San Francisco, California. A time in which the youth of the so called beat generation were profoundly influenced by Zen. By Zen, that huh? Influence, in turn, chanted Buddhist mantras, burned incense, and practiced meditation. Mm, interesting. During the Edo period in Japan, although they aren't searching for anything in particular, here we find three people deep in meditation. <laughs> Look at Mugen's like pose. Doing this. Starting today, we'll be staying at this Zen temple for a while. The monk in charge of the temple is giving us free room and board while we're here. I feel I have to wonder at times, did I pick the right two men to go with me on this journey? You know. All encounters happen but once before. Oh, so they seek the advice from him. No right or wrong. If you have met these two men and are traveling with them now, then that is your destiny. For better or worse, whatever the outcome of your journey may be. Hey, Interesting. Master Chrome Dome. <laughs> Yo, Mugen. Yo. Come on. Talking cue ball. Cue ball. Oh my god. There we go. 
nice hit on the shoulder. I love that line. Because in a way they were saying that we, we don't want you to die. She made it all up? She knew it. <laughs> How did she know? Oh, it's to be continued. Oh, interesting. Is this a new uh, outro? Oh, no. It's just a different song. Oh, dude. This is so beautiful, man. The music. One of my friends said that the the man who does the background music is a very well-known like lo-fi artist and I just have to say he makes beautiful music so um, I know he's very popular but I don't know his name so if you guys could tell me in the comments who he is because these beats are so beautiful I love this I love this I, lo I still like this episode it's a little bit of a recap and also like a little bit like I like how they did this like it's not like normal recaps where they just show like clips and that's it It's more like they, they told like a little story with it, too. I like the aspect of um, Fu reading the diary and as 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 uh, Mugen and um, And Jean are reading it so it's interesting to see her as a narrator describing the events that happened between all of them Dude, this is so good, man So good, man. So good. Wow. Beautiful song. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that was uh, episode, I think 13? Was that 13? No, no, that was episode 12. Yeah, episode 12. Episode 12 of Samurai Champloo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please do leave a like down below. Comment if you guys are enjoying the Samurai Champloo series on the channel. If you got any other suggestions, just leave them down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care and peace.